My attempt at speech you've never stole or botched. Anatomy of a scandal we watched. I speak without a hint of unease. It was a gripping series. To speak without doubt I ought. I gave it some thought. After reaching the end, a patient ear do lend, I found myself thinking, as I was blinking, if the wife's ultimate decision, allow me this to mention, although a fair one, I speak in a manner not glum, was tainted somewhat, to speak I ought, by the fact, I speak without tact, that her husband had had an affair, to listen patiently I hope you care, I speak in a manner rather slow, her decision right though, could have been a bit of a personal vendetta, I hope my words don't irk or jar. To speak without doubt I ought, I too had that thought. I speak without a hint of a smile, I mulled over it for a while. Then I thought, to speak I ought, the wife's decision was not coloured by thought any, for your thoughts a penny. It was her sense of fairness alone, I speak in an extremely gentle tone, that caused her to do what she did. I won't go into the details sordid. I speak with delight, you are right. A patient here you always lent, the key word here is consent. Accused of rape as her husband was, I speak with a bit of a pause, she supported him, times were grim. Until she felt there had been no consent, a patient here you always lent, and of the other grave matters became aware, to listen patiently I hope you care. Till then, my baby, my gem, she had supported him, in circumstances grim despite being aware of his affair. I shan't make a dance and song. It was a sense of right and wrong alone. I speak in a gentle tone that prompted her as it does almost all of us. I speak without the slightest hint of a fuss. I do speak I ought. I like it a lot. I won't make a speech long. Right must always be wrong.